Hello, Good guys. Evening. Good evening. Uh, well, I'm so sorry for this delay, but today I was hey. having. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not in the stadium, Carlos. <laughs> no, I'm not. No, um, the reason why um, it was, well, I came late because I had some problems with the, with the application Zoom and I wasn't able to connect. I don't know what just happened, but it wasn't able to respond. So, um, but well, we are already here. So we are going to start a new day, something new to learn, right? So thank you so much guys for always being on time. And um, well, I hope you complete the exercises that we left yesterday. Did you work on that? No, you didn't, Elvis. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. All right. Yes, so, teacher. We are going to start with that, guys, because it's very important that we complete um, everything. So before we start, let me ask you some questions. What is the placement of the adjectives number one? What type of adjectives are the number one? The opinion. Opinion, very good. What about number five? What type of adjectives do we have in number five? Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. Shape. 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 Yeah. Shape. Shape. What about number seven? What type of adjectives are those? Origin. Origin. Or, origin. origin. Very good. So um, can someone give me an example of if I say gold? What type of adjective that? If I say gold, auto. Material. Material. And what's the number for that? Number eight. Number eight. eight. All right. Eight. Very good. So we're going there. That's very good. So uh, for today, we had uh, like, like three exercises, but they were really, really easy because it was just about ordering some words to find the right sentence. And uh, also, let me see. Let me share this screen with you. All right, this is what we have for today, guys. So uh, with that being said, I will say your name and you will have to tell me the answer. Number one, we're going to start with Juliana. Number two, Lizette Montoya. Number three, Elvis. Number four, Ana Yancy. And number five, Wendy Ileana. So go ahead, guys. We house new bot. I'm sorry, repeat it again. We house a new bot. Okay, let me write down what you just said. Say it again. We are, we are house new bot. I not very much aware. Does does that make sense to you guys? The other ones. Si yo digo nosotros una casa nueva compramos. We bought a new house. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So it will be we bought. We, we bought a new house. Like that. We bought, we bought a new house. All right. So what about number two? Uh, she likes the green sweater. She likes the green sweater. Very good. What about number three? Her daughter usually doesn't work on Friday. 
Your daughter? Oh, sorry. Uh -huh. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. On Fridays. Very good. Alguien por ahí está, ¿verdad? A la mitad del partido y a la mitad de la clase. ¿verdad? I just heard the television. All right. <laughs> okay, I understand, guys. I know that you that you will that you prefer to be there instead of being in the class. I completely understand that. Uh, so what about number? Let me see. One, two, three, four. What about number four? Okay, teacher. The family ate the restaurant in Japan. A family ate the restaurant in Japan. Uh, you said like this, the family ate in the restaurant in Japan? Uh-huh. What do you think, guys? The other ones, those the mass. What do you think? Is that correct, uh, yeah. Carlos? The family. The family ate in a in Japanese restaurant. A Japanese family ate in the restaurant. So say that again, Victoria or Glenda. Who was saying something? Let me uh, see. The family, the family Glenda. ate in a Spanish restaurant. Slow, slow down, slowly. So, uh, so I will write it down. Say it again. The family. In a Japanese restaurant, I uh, think. I, a family. Victoria, you said a family. The family. Oh, the family. The family. The All right. family. All right. What else? Eight. Eight in a Japanese restaurant. I think. I don't know. The family eight in a Japanese. Oh, yeah. Actually, number letter A. The family ate in a Japanese restaurant. Yes, that's right. That's that's the answer. I'm sorry, uh, Anna Yancy, but your answer is not correct. Because here, if you said that, la familia comió en un restaurante japonés, tú lo estás traduciendo de una forma literalmente from Spanish to English. All right, so what about the last one? I always visit my parents on Sundays. I always visit my parents on Sundays. Very good. All right, guys, thank you so much for the ones that participated in this one. Um, well, it was very easy, right? So let's go ahead and try it with uh, the following practice. The next one, we have this. So I will need uh, Glenda Ramos, number one, Elias, two, Ana Maria, three, Miriam Eraso, four, uh, Elizabeth, five, Claudia Iraeta, six, Juliana, seven, uh, Brenda Villeda, eight, Sarah nine and Elena ten. Go ahead. Big is two psi lay eight. All right. Yes. All right. Very good. What about number two? Yo le puse H. H. Two. H. Number two. Is that number two? H. No. Four. 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 Four, okay, but, but that's very good. Age, number four. Very good, what about number three? Number three. Number three. Medium. Number four. 
Oh, yours is number four. Who is number three then? Oh, you know what? Uh, Carlos Guevara, help me with number three. Opinion. Opinion. Okay. And that's which number? Number four is Okay. Number one. Yeah, okay, so Miriam, repeat it again. I couldn't hear what you were saying. I'm sorry. Origin. Origin? It's origin. All right, very good. What about number five? Five is ma material. Material, yes. And what's number? what number is that one? Five. Number five, okay. No, I mean... The number of the order of the adjective is that number five? Six. six. No. Number six. All right. Six. What about number six? Who's number six? Color. Color. Material. Hmm. We have <laughs> electronic. Electronic. Uh -huh. So what, is, what did you just said? Material. Is that electronic? Is that material? No. So what is that then? Yeah. Purpose. Purpose. Nine. Nine. So in number nine, nine is number nine is which one? Purpose? Purpose. Uh -huh. So if I said electronic, mm -hmm. that's material. No. <laughs> Incontable. Will that be opinion? No se puede contar. Mm. No, but I mean materials, material, material is electronic. Mat yeah, that, that will be ma material. material. That will be material, guys. So what about number seven? Number one. And what is number one? Number one. Opinion. 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 What about eight? Hello? Six. Color, right? Six color. Num number nine. Six. six. Number six. Five. 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 Todos estamos yeah. adivinando, vea. Nos estamos hallando <laughs> a la adivinanza. La verdad que a cual me salga correcto. No, es pequeño. No, es pequeño. So if I said that that's little. Size. Size. Number two. Two. Number two. Number two. I'm talking about size. Size. Number two. Size. Size number two. Exactly. So what about num number 10? Number five. Five. Shape. Shape. Estamos hablando de la forma. Shape. What about this one? Historical. Oh, no. Constable. Constable. I'm sorry. Uh, I, I can I can listen to the to the to the football over there. Opinion. Opinion. Comfortable. It's opinion. What about number two? Historical. Purpose. Purpose. Is, is that purpose? It's a purpose. Number four. Eso es edad, edad, no, that's age, porque si hablamos de algo histórico, estamos hablando de tiempo, y age cabe dentro de tiempo, ok, so historical. What about number three, lovely? Opinion. 
opinion. Opinion. Perfect. Opinion. What about number four? Ancient. Four. H. 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 What about square? Number five. Shape. 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 What about strange? Opinion. Opinion. Yeah. Huge. Yeah, opinion. What about huge? Seis. 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 What about Eastern? Origin. 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 What about plastic? Material. 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 In the last Material. one, skinny. Physical quality. Physical. Physical. Physical quality. All right. Physical quality. Physical quality. All right. So with that, guys, we finished the activity of yesterday. Por ratos adivinando y por ratos no, verdad? Por ratos paying attention y por ratos no, but we're going over there. All right. So, yeah, I can I can listen to a lot of interference, guys. I don't know if you have any other device turn it turn on, but I can listen to some kind of interference while while I'm talking. So um, today, guys, we're going to see something that is completely different, completely different from everything that we have just uh, seen during this module. It's something, uh, what? About your health. Today, guys, we're going to learn a little bit about the food pyramid. Food pyramid. So today we're going to learn a little bit about your health. Some also some vocabulary about some some things that you probably already know. But today is going to be more about your health and the way that you have to eat or some extra vocabulary that you are going to learn. So to start with that, guys, we're going to start with the pyramid. Could you please tell me, or can you place the food groups correctly? Pueden hacerlo. So do it in your in your notebook right now, in your notebooks, in sus cuadernos. Try to do it now. Place it at. Necesito que los los pongan. Los place it in your notebook. So I will give you two minutes to do that, or just one. Because you just have to place it. One, two, three, four. That's it. And I will ask someone randomly. Do it now, guys. Okay, I can see some people working. Thank you so much, guys, for working. I know that that's part of your responsibility to participate or to work in the class. So I appreciate that. Okay, when you complete it, please say done. So I will understand that you already complete that.
Yeah, teacher. Okay, perfect. So I think that you just got enough time. We got like two minutes already. So uh, Lisette, give me a number from one to 22. Yeah, uh, one to 22. Oh, yeah, I confundí. Yes. So uh, dame un número or give me a number from one to 22. De uno al 22. Uh, 15. 15. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And 15, Glenda Ramos. Hello. Okay. Hello, Glenda. Can you please Hello, Tisha. give me your answers or your possibilities to this activity? De arriba para abajo, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay. Um, fast and sweet. Fast um, and two. sweet. It will be uh, number two. And number two. Um, med fish egg. Okay, you just said the. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me see. I want to erase this. Oh, it's not working. Okay. All right, say it again. I'm sorry. Okay. So you said fast and sweet, number two. Am I right? Number two. Okay, here. What about the other ones? Number one is fat and sweet. So it's not number two. No, it's number one. Number two is mad fish egg. Number two. Okay, let me see here. You said fast and sweet. Number two, meg. Number three. Milk, cheese, yogurt, and butter. Okay, leave it there. Thank you so much for your participation. So now okay. let's go, Ana Maria. What about the last two? Las últimas dos. Uh, Where would you place them? Um, las últimas dos. Me, Pitch, Ed. Um, pero es que yo lo tengo a la inversa. So for you, meat, fish, and eggs will be la última, the last one. Um, lo voy a escribir, se lo voy a editar así, pero sería a la inversa de como yo lo tengo. Um, milk, cheese, yogurt, or butter. Mm -hmm. Esta y la última es fruit and vegetables. Fruit and vegetables, the last one. Okay, this is what you said, guys. But what is the right answer? Here we have. So number one, fats and sweets. Ah, number uh -huh. two, meat, uh -huh. fish and eggs. Number three, uh -huh. milk, cheese, yogurt and butter. Number four, fruits and vegetables. Mm. And cereal, mm. pasta, potatoes, bread, mm. and rice. Fruit, four, five. Okay. So uh, thank you so much for participating, guys. So this is the food pyramid that we have when we talk about um, meat, fish, and eggs. I think that you already know what that's re what that refers to. When we say milk, cheese, yogurt, and butter, I think that you already know that. And if you do not know that, please ask. I think that you already know what cereal, pasta, potatoes, bread, and rye means. Yes? Mm -hmm. Is that clear? Yes. All right. Yes. Okay, it's great. Clear. So here we have some uh, like, the. Like that's pretty much the same thing, like grains, like subtitles, like grains, vegetable, fruits, oils, milk, and meat and beans. Here we just add the beans. Do you know what a bean means? 
What's a bin? Do you know what is that? Frijoles. Exactly. Frijoles. Beans. So we're going to start, guys, with the first part. And here, as you can see, I have four. So I will need, uh, no, you know what, Mr. Elvis, can you please help me reading all of them, all this information, if you don't mind? Okay. Um, range. Make mm -hmm. all of, of the range full. Okay, great. Some examples of range are oatmeal. Yes. Green. Mm -hmm. And berry. Okay. Whole grain bread is better for you than white bread. Mm -hmm. Cereals are grains like cereals, oh wheat, and brand brand flakes. Mm -hmm. Children should have six servings of grains a day. Very good. So here, what we just have, guys, it is just a little bit of an explanation about one of the parts that we have on the food pyramid. If you don't know, well, do you know what, what oatmeal means? This means avena. With means trigo. Rye means um, centeno, I don't know what that is, not even in Spanish, I don't know what that is, and barely, that is cebada, okay? Barely. So those are, those are parts of the grains that we have some parts also, the, some vocabulary. When it says Cheerios, cuando dice Cheerios, es la forma in that Americans call como el diminutivo que le dan a, a the cereal, al cereal, Cheerios, all right? So they say Cheerios and they refer to the cereal. That's what they're trying to say. So this is just a brief explanation from one of the parts that we have in the food pyramid. It's not that complicated. So now we're going to the vegetables. I'm very sure that you know some vegetables, so I will need uh, Jose Manuel Rosales. Can you please help me reading all these parts? Me voy conectando que me tuve que mover el vehículo, no escuché bien. Oh, so it's okay. You know what? Stay there. Miriam Merazo. Can you please help me reading that? Vegetables. Okay, that, I'm, I'm sorry for interrupting you. Uh, guys, I can hear some background noise. Uh, can you please turn your microphone off? Because I can still hear some background noise and it's not that good for the person that is talking because it makes kind of an interference. Can you please turn no, your microphone off? Hay un niño viendo televisión. Micrófonos apagados, no entiende inglés. Oh, thank you so much, guys. Now, Miriam, thank yeah. you, go ahead. Okay. Vegetables. 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 Okay. Okay. Vegeta vegetables include carrots, broccoli, beans, mm -hmm. peppers, mm -hmm. lettuce, and okay. tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Junel green, orange, and red. Vary your colors mm -hmm. for the best balance of vitamins and nu nutrients. Mm -hmm. Children. Na, two, two and a half cups. Two and a half cups. Okay. So, guys, two? do you do you understand everything that says over there? Do you understand the whole information? Is there any word that you didn't understand? Please ask all those questions because that's part of your learning path, right? 
If you don't know any word, ask for the meaning. So is everything understandable? What you mean peppers and lettuce? Peppers and lettuce. Peppers. Ah, peppers and lettuce. So, what you I, mean? okay, um, we're going there. Thank you so much for your question. Before we go there, let me tell you, veggies is otro diminutivo that Americans use to call vegetables. En vez de decir vegetales como vegetables, they, just, they prefer to say veggies. That it's way easier for you to pronounce them. Es una forma más fácil de pronunciarlo. Veggies and vegetables. Okay. So, um, we're going to have here, and here is where we have. Aquí tienen la respuesta, vea. So, here, lettuce. Is a, how do you call this? Lechuga. Mm -hmm. Lettuce and pepper is chile. See, cucumber. Guys, we're going to learn this vocabulary. So pay attention to that pronunciation because I will ask you later on. Number one, cucumber, yellow onion, red onion, garlic, carrot, Red cabbage, white cabbage, radish, eggplant, mushroom, red pepper, artichoke, corn, beet, broccoli, cauliflower, cauliflower, celery, red chili, green chili, Sweet potato, asparagus, asparagus, olives, pumpkin, fennel, spring onion, turnip, green bean, avocado, lettuce, and zucchini. Do you, do you understand everything about that vocabulary? I think that is way easier when you have an image, right? Es más fácil cuando ya se tiene una imagen because that gives you an idea of what we are talking about. So it, it is completely understandable? Or is there any question? Carlos. How do you say in Spanish, fennel? Fennel, where is that? Let me look for that because I cannot it's see. It's pumping. Oh, oh, fennel. That's, um, es como una, eh, oh my God, es como, como la base eh, de, ¿cómo le llamamos esta cosa que le echamos a la comida? Lo que pasa es que aquí casi no se come, pero es el hinojo. Oh, exactly. Yes, exactly. That's what it is. Ni en español conocía la palabra. Yeah, you know, I, that happens to me. There are some words that I don't even know. For example, I didn't know uh, nabo because tur turnip, esta palabra de acá, turnip, significa nabo. But I don't even know what that is in Spanish. I have never seen a nabo before in my life. So I don't know what that is. Zucchini it, for me, the idea that I have it is that similar to como un pipián que le llamamos, right? Something like that? No? Pepino también. Oh, is that zucchini? Ayote? No, that's not zucchini, actually. It's a I, zucchini, es pipián. Oh, pipián. All right. Yes, that, that's what it refers to. So, you know, there's some, oh, there's some vocabulary or some words that we don't even know in Spanish. And it is probably because we don't eat or because of the weather, it is impossible to plant those vegetables or to have access to those vegetables here. So, Ana Yancy, give me a number from one to 22. Uh, thing. I'm sorry? Thing? I, I don't understand what you're saying. Seven? Seven. All right. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
Juliana. Hello, Juliana. Hello. Can you please help me reading? The first line of vegetables. La primera línea de vegetables. I want to listen okay. to your pronunciation. Go ahead. Cucumber, yellow onion, red onion, garlic, carrot. We do not say cucumber. We say cucumber. Cucumber. Okay. Very good. So give me a number from 1 to 22. Juliana, give me a number. Perdón. Give me a number from 1 to 22. 10. 10. Let me see. Maria Luz de Nieto. Go ahead. The second line. Most wrong? No, this. Oh, yeah, the second line. Go ahead. No, there's a teacher. La, la segunda línea. Ah, okay. Excuse me. Um, red cabbage. Mm -hmm. Well, well, mm -hmm. well, cabbage. Mm -hmm. Reddish. Mm -hmm. Each plant mm -hmm. e from <laughs> close, close, but not a hundred percent understandable. La entonación eh, se, la, mm -hmm. se la puso en otra sílaba. That's why it was not understandable. So let me say it again: red cabbage, white cabbage. Radish, eggplant, and mushroom. Mushroom. Okay, Maria Luz de Nieto, give me a number from 1 to 22. Nine. Nine. Let me see. Sarah Elizabeth, go ahead. The third line, please. Okay, um, red pepper, mm -hmm. article, mm -hmm. corn, beets, and broccoli. Broccoli, that's very good. Thank you so much. Now, give me a number from 1 to 22. Um, 19. 19. Let me see. Miriam Eraso, go ahead. The fourth line. Okay. Cauliflower, mm -hmm. celery, mm -hmm. red chili, mm -hmm. green chili, sweet potato. Excellent. Very good. Give me a number from 1 to 22. Um, eight. Okay. One, two. Elia Solorsano. The next line, please. <clears throat> Sparrows, olives, mm -hmm. pumpkin, fennel, spring, onion. All right, very good. Give me a number from 1 to 22. Mm, 12. 12. Let me see. Elvis. Go ahead, sir. Sure. Green bean, avocado, juice, sashimi. Repeat it again, this one right here. Lettuce. Ah, lettuce. And we say, we say this avocado. Avocado. No, no ah, avocado. avocado, okay, avocado. avocado. Okay. All right, cool. Thank you so much, sir. All right, so now we're going with the first part. I will need, let me see, Brenda Villalta. Can you please help me read this part? Brenda Villeda. Oh, Villeda, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, uh, 
focus on fruit. Mm -hmm. Fruits contains a wide variety of vitamins. Uh, fruits like pineapples, apples, orange, peach, apricots, mm -hmm. and pears are are really really uh, mm -hmm. are are lovely, are lovely uh, fresh in bed, but cannot uh, or frozen are fine out of season. Children need one a half cup of fruit every day. Okay, guys, do you understand everything that is there? Me recuerdo que por aquí teníamos una traductora. I was not here. That's right. No. So do you understand? Yes. They're really um, vegetable. Oh, uh, I don't know what you're reading. Repeat it again. ¿Qué sería eso de really, really available? Really available. It is, it's when we say disponibles en su punto. Really available. Really available. So, um, any other question, guys? Do you understand everything? If I said fruits contain a wide variety of vitamins, what do you understand when I say that? Que las frutas contienen una amplia variedad de vitamins. Wow, very good. All right. If I say fresh is best, but can or frozen are out of the season. Es mejor fresco, pero enlatado y congelado es, son, están mejor afuera. <laughs> no sé. Cuando no son de temporada, digo yo. Are fine out of season. That's what it means. Fuera, están fuera de temporada. Exactly. So I'm very impressed, guys, because you know, or you got a lot of vocabulary. That's very good. So, uh, Lisette. Please go ahead and help me with this part. Um, oils. Now your fats. Oils and fats include fried food, butter or margarine, salad dressing, and milk fats in milk and cheese. Mm -hmm. You should limit your fat intake as is it linking to blood vessel mm -hmm. uh, disease and heart attack mm -hmm. and build up in your body over time okay Children go ahead need... uh -huh. okay no go ahead uh, children need no more than Three servings a day. Okay. Do you know what oil means or do you know everything that is written over there? No questions about that? Este no lo entiendo mucho, teacher. Racing. ¿Qué significa dressing? Salad dressing. Salad dressing son los, adere son los aderezos de ensalada. Aderezos de Adere ensalada. Uh -huh. Milk fast. Milk fat. Son eh, las, las grasas de la leche. Como la leche entera. Does it have fat? Crema, crema. Porque la crema sale de eso. Pero en sí son, son las grasas. Son las grasas de la, de la leche. So, 
Do you understand everything, guys, that is there? Teacher, mm -hmm. teacher, ¿cómo se pronunciaría entonces esa que es la grasa de la leche? Si continuando dice eh, que eh, la leche y queso, o sea, ¿cómo sería la pronunciación? Milk fat, milk fat and milk and cheese. So I'm going to say it just for you to, to hear to the pronunciation. Oils and fats include fried food, butter or margarine, salad dressing, and milk fat in milk and cheese. You should limit your fat intake as it is linked to blood vessel disease and heart attacks and builds up in your body, in your body, I'm sorry, over time. Children need no more than three serving a day. So is that understandable? I'm just asking you that guys, because if it is understandable, I just going to move, uh, I will move forward, okay? So that's why I'm asking. So I consider that there's no question because nobody said anything. So we'll go with the milk. Ana Yancy, go ahead. Okay. Calcium rich food and cool meal and cheese. Calcium milk, real, strong bones and this and helps your muscle, muscle, the muscle, <laughs> muscle become stronger. Mm -hmm. Children need three cup and meal or cheese a day. Okay, it says calcium rich foods include milk and cheeses. Calcium builds strong bones and teeth and helps your muscles become stronger. Children need three cup of milk or cheese a day. Okay, so, and this is pretty much, these are the two uh, last parts. And because of the time guys, because we are almost finishing the class, I will, we, we are going to just read this part. Uh, let me see. See. Someone that would like to participate, guys? Any volunteer? No? Sarah, go ahead. Hey. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. So uh, you will help me, Sarah, with this part. And then uh, Jose, if I'm not mistaken, you will help me with the next part, okay? So Sarah, with this part, and Jose will help me with the next one. Okay. Meats and beans. Mm -hmm. Oil on um, protein. Mm -hmm. Meats and beans give you protein to grow strong muscles and improve brain function limit uh -huh. your meat to lean beef chicken and pork you can get a lot of that with meat children need five ounces of protein a day okay so it says meats and beans give you protein to grow strong muscles and improve brain functions. Functions, I'm sorry. Limit your meat to lean beef, chicken and pork. You can get a lot of fat with meat. It says the children need only five ounces of protein a day. So no questions about this? No teacher. So Manuel. Help me, no, yes, Jose Manuel will help me with this part. Okay, and uh, what are discrete, discrete calorie? Mm -hmm. Food your world 
like to have that don't don't not fit in any any of the other category uh, or are ab above the recommended amounts like birthday case ice cream of candy just just low limit this days uh, food to no more that um, uh, 150 calorie a meal a snatch may within choice okay thank you so much los numeritos ¿verdad? los numeritos over there so uh, we call to discretionary discretionary calories son eh, el tipo de calorías like pizza like birthday cake like ice cream candies sodas Ese tipo de calorías o comidas que no estén incluidas en ninguna de las partes of the food pyramid. So it says, what are discretionary calories? Food that we like to have that don't fit in any of the other categories or above the recommended amounts like birthday cake, ice cream, or candy. You should limit this food no more than 150 calories, a meal or a snack. Make wise choices. Okay, so it is understandable, guys. Is it understandable? Well, if See, nobody is yeah. saying, so this activity, we're not going to do it due to the fact that we do not have enough time. So we are going to go with this one because we still have eight minutes and I consider that this one, we could finish one of those. So guys, uh, take a picture, a screenshot or something like that. And we're going to go to the breakout rooms and it really doesn't matter if you do not complete them all. If you do not complete them all, we can complete them tomorrow, but at least that you can finish the first part and we are done with that, okay? So part number one, part number two, and part number three. So. Puede poner la uno, porfa, porque no le tomé en la primera. All right, so we still have six minutes. As I said, if you do not complete them all, it's okay. We are going to complete them tomorrow, but at least the first one. Okay, so go ahead and join your rooms and I will be checking uh, each one of the rooms. Go ahead. Cynthia, are you having problems trying to connect with your group?
es fighting. Fighting. Ah. Ajá, fighting. Y este Ay, es. Ay, el... no veo. Chicken es el 7. Chicken. Chicken. Fish. El 14. Dog. Stick. Steak. 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 14. Fish. 2. 14, el, esa. No, es el 14. 14. Ah, bueno, pero es que hay dos steaks, el 12 y el 14, es cierto. Ajá, se repite. Se repite. Fish. El 2. Tú. 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 Perdona, ¿verdad? No, no hay. Se nos acabó el tiempo. Sí, ¿por qué no hay nada? Rosquillas. Okay. Homework tomorrow, teacher. <laughs> so you didn't complete it? No, teacher, nothing. <laughs> nothing. And I saw uh, a group over there, but I even group, okay, almost completed all. Sí. So your group, Elvis, right? Terminamos. Yeah. So, la primera. Yeah, I mean, I just said the first one. So, uh, I will ask you some random people just to verify. Oh, this is nice. Let me see. Um, Anayansi, what is this that I'm pointing? What's this? Four. What is this? Four. Can you say what that is? Ice cream. See. Sí. Ice cream. Okay. Number I want. I, I wanted you to tell me the the name, no solo el número. Okay. So what is this? Ah, okay. Okay. What is this, Elias? Sorry. Can you see it? No, you cannot. This one. No? What about you? Uh, let me see. Number A, butter. It's butter. Butter. A. Be careful with what you said, guys, because lo que acaban de decir fue completamente otra cosa, vea? And I don't want to say it. No lo quiero decir because it's not good. No es algo bueno lo que dijeron por ahí. So be careful with the pronunciation. It's not butter, it's butter. 
butter, okay? Por favor. Butter. 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 Okay, like that. Butter. So, uh, let me see. What is this, Ana Maria? This one right here. No. Yes, Ana Maria. Yes. What is this? Carrot. Carrot. Okay. What is this, Maria Luz? The nieto. This part right here. Fish. Oh, is this fish? Yes. <laughs> number three or number four? No, I mean, I mean, this part that I'm pointing, la cosa que estoy apuntando, with a pointer, what is this? Is this fish? Yes, yes. Number three? And this bread. 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 Is, uh, Yo dije, María, ya, oh, se, ya se nos fue para el estadio. Porque está a la par de la, de la mantequilla que es, teacher. This one. Esa, esa, ajá. Huh? This one. Do you have any idea what this is? Cookie. Cookie. I'm, I'm this is a cookie. Pero esa no está, it's teacher, not, en las not opciones. No está en la ¿Esa? opción. No está en la opción. Tortilla que no era, sí, teacher. Está repetida. Se repite. Sí. Pupusas. Este. ¿Y marañón cuál es? Y marañón también. Que, que... Oh, Cashew. 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 Okay. Cashew. 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 All right. Cashew. Cashew. So if there's any word, si hay alguna palabra that is not there, it is up to you to add it or not. Están ustedes agregarla. Because I think that is very clear. This one is kind of confusing because it looks like tortilla. It looks like pupusas. It looks like... Uh, some sort of, I don't know, something round or something like that. But I mean, like that. So, si algo no está ahí, please add it. Agreguelo and you let me know, okay? This exercise, okay. guys, for tomorrow. Porque es lo que pasa. Últimamente decimos tomorrow y ya en el tomorrow nadie hizo nada, okay? So, please try to do it at home, okay? Yes, okay, perfect. Okay. So, okay. So, um, this is all for today. Vea, quedan libres para los que están ahí con el, un ojo en la clase, un ojo en el partido, vea. <laughs> and you are free now. So, thank you so much for attending to the class. And see you tomorrow, guys. Okay. Have a good night. 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 Good